Hello and welcome to this video on converting numbers from standard form. Now in the previous video we saw what standard form meant and it's a way of writing really big and really small numbers. So for example we could write say 2.7 times 10 to the power of 7 and you remember that in standard form this number had to be between 1 and 10 exclusive of 10 but including 1 and this was always the form 10 to the power of something and this could either be a positive or a negative integer. Now let's just think what this actually means. It means 2.7 and you're timesing by 10 7 times because 10 to the 7 means 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 7 times. And remember each time that you multiply by 10 you move the decimal point. So if we had 2.7 but we don't actually write in the decimal point and we move the decimal point seven times where well it's going to move once to get to the end and then we still need to multiply by 10 six more times so it's going to move again and when we multiply by 10 it's obviously going to give you an extra zero and then we get an extra zero again and we get an extra zero again and then we get an extra zero again. And how many times have we move? Well one, two, three, four, five. So we need another two zeros because then we have six and then seven. So when we multiply 2.7 by 10 seven times it moves it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times and we get to, if I put the commas in, 27 million. What about if it's a really small number because we have a negative indice? So if I had say three times 10 to the power of minus four, remember when you have a negative power that means you do 1 over it. So it's almost like 10 times 1 over 10 to the 4. That is equal to 3 over 10 to the 4. So we're dividing 3 by 10 4 times. So we could write 0 0.0003. And let's just check that I've written it correctly. Because if we move the decimal point 4 times, it's originally here. Move it once, twice, 3 times four times so we can see we've moved the decimal point the correct number of times and do you remember I had a little tip for this if you had a negative power that number there gives you the number of zeros on the front of the number including the zero before the decimal point so let's do some more examples we've got question one we have three times ten to the four so we're multiplying three by ten four times well that's just going to have of putting four zeros on the end and let's just check for the decimal place move. It's currently there. Move it once, twice, three times, four times. That is right. What about the second one? 2.6 times 10 to the 5. That's in standard form. We want to convert it to a normal number. Well, if the decimal point originally here, we move it once to get it to the end of the number. So we get to 26. But we still need to multiply by 10 four more times. So we're going to get four zeros. And that's 260,000 if we put the comma in. What about the next one? 7.21 times 10 to the power of 7. The first two times we multiply by 10, it's going to have the effect of getting us to 721, but we still need to multiply by five more tens. So that's going to add five zeros to the end. So it's 71 followed by five zeros. And you can always check by just counting the moves. So it's here, once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six times, seven times, it is right. Now what about these ones when we have negative powers? Five times ten to the power of minus four. Now remember, if you use my little trick, the four there tells you how many zeros are going to be on the front. So we have zero, 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 four times, and then a five, and we put the decimal point there. And we can just check if we have five and the decimal point after it, and we move the decimal point four times, one, two, three, four. That's correct. What about question five? We've got 3.7 times 10 to the power of minus two. If you use my little trick, we have two zeros on the front, then three, seven, and put the decimal point here. So I didn't leave enough space. And then the final one, question six, 4.35 times 10 to the minus six. So we need six zeros on the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, four, three, five and then we put the decimal point here. 